Good morning, everyone, and thank you for coming. I'm Councilmember Robert Cornegy, Chair of the Council's Committee on Housing and Buildings. Today we'll vote on 18 bills. 17 of these bills pertain to tenant displacement. In May of last year, the New York Times ran a three-part series that highlighted the lengths that landlords will go to remove rent-regulated tenants and to bring those apartment units up to market rate. In the aftermath of this article, we held the hearing on those 17 bills. The final bill relates to construction site safety training. Proposed intro 59A, which I sponsor, would ensure that tenants entering into buyout agreements do so as educated consumers. This bill would require that the person offering a buyout agreement inform the tenant of the median asking price for similar units as well as factors that may impact the tenant's ability to rent an apartment if they choose to, if they choose to move. This bill also requires HPD to report on median asking rents in each community district if sufficient data is available. Proposed intro 1257A, which I also sponsored, will require DOB to issue a stop work order if a DOB inspector can't get access to a construction site and he has reason to believe that work, I'm sorry, which, uh, DOB to issue a stop work order if a DOB inspector can't get access to a construction site and has reason to believe that work is being done in violation of the law. Proposed intro 128A, which I also sponsored, 158. 1258A, which I also sponsored, will require the Department of Consumer Affairs to audit 20% of process servers who serve in housing court. The New York Times article highlighted certain instances of improper service which resulted in tenants being evicted from their homes without even knowing that there were eviction proceedings pending against them. This bill will provide a tool for the city to uncover further instances of improper service. Proposed intro 551A and 1274A are sponsored by Council Member Levine. Proposed intro number 551A will require landlords to file information about buyout agreements online or face a penalty. This bill also will require HPD to report annually on buyout agreements. Proposed intro 1274A will require landlords to obtain the previous four years rent for an apartment in a landlord's building, if available, and give that information to the tenant in that apartment. Proposed intro number 975A, sponsored by Council Member Brannon, will require DOB to maintain a list of buildings with an excessive number of open, immediately hazardous, or major violations of the Housing Maintenance Code or Construction Code. These buildings would be subject to a year-long moratorium on the issuance of permits. Proposed intro 977A, sponsored by Council Member Reynoso, would create sanctions for registered design professionals who submit professionally certified applications for construction document approval within any 12-month period that contain errors that result in a stop work order. In a similar vein, proposed intro number 1241A, sponsored by Council Member Amprey Samuel, would sanction sur supervisor registry, supervisory registered design professionals who supervise registered design professionals who falsely certify construction documents and plans. Proposed intros numbers 1107A, 1279A, and 1280A were all sponsored by Council Member Rosenthal. Proposed intro number 1107A and 1280A would expand DOB oversight over tenant protection plans, which are documents that must be submitted when construction will be performed in occupied buildings, and building owner penalties for false statements in tenant protection plans. Proposed intro number 1107A would also require contractors to play a larger role in the submission of tenant protection plans, which are currently overseen by building owners. Proposed intro number 1278A would require DOB and HPD to order a certain percentage of certificates of correction, which are filed by building owners when they correct violations, to ensure that violating conditions have been corrected. Proposed intro number 1278A, sponsored by Council Member Rivera, also pertains to tenant protection plans. This bill will require heightened review of tenant protection plans and increased enforcement of building code standards. Proposed intro 1171A, sponsored by Council Member Torres, would, among other things, require audits of a building owner's entire real estate portfolio while the building owner was caught performing work without a permit or where the building owner submitted five amendments to construction documents within a six-month period that contained changes in occupancy, rent regulation status, or that would require the owner to submit an application for a new permit. Proposed intro number 1242A, sponsored by Council Member Ayala, would expand the information to be posted on HPD's online property owner registry by requiring owners to include information about DOB violations related to construction as harass harassment, including stop work orders, without a permit, and if available, information about rent overcharges. 
Proposed Intro 1247A, sponsored by Councilmember Cabrera, will require owners to distribute copies of notices of violation to building tenants and require DOB to provide information about the adjudication process for resolving those violations. Proposed Intro Number 1275A, sponsored by Councilmember Powers, would place a one-year moratorium on DOB-issued permits to buildings where building owner lied about the occupancy status of the building or where DOB determined the work was performed without a permit while the building was occupied. Finally, proposed intro 1277A, sponsored by Councilmember Amprey Samuel, will require DOB to perform preliminary inspections on 20% of purportedly unoccupied buildings to verify these buildings are in fact unoccupied prior to construction. In addition to voting on the tenant displacement bills today, we'll vote on one bill relating to protecting the construction workers who risk their lives to help develop and grow this city. Construction remains one of the most dangerous lines of work in the city. Local Law 196 of 2017 created comprehensive safety training requirements for construction workers. Proposed Intro 1533A, sponsored by Public Advocate, extends the deadline by which workers must comply with the training requirements in Local Law 196. Through these 19 bills, we hope to better protect our fellow New Yorkers, both in their homes and in their places of work. I'm joined today by Council Members Rivera, I know who you are. <laughs> Espinal, <laughs> Espinal, Barry Gredenchik, uh, Antonio Reynoso, Margaret Chin, Fernando Cabrera, Bill Perkins, and Helen Rosenthal. Did I not say Richard? I could have sworn And Richie Torres. Call me Rafael Espinal. I call that. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> we can now ask the clerk uh, to call the roll. Matthew DeStefano, committee clerk, committee on housing and buildings, roll call on the aforementioned bills. Wait, I, I'm sorry, clerk. Um, I didn't ask any of the members if they'd like to speak on their bills. Oh, wow. We're a shy crowd. Nice. Okay, roll call on aforementioned bills. Chair Carnegie. Abodai. Cabrera. Aye. Chin. Aye. Espinel. Aye. Rosenthal. Aye. Torres. Aye. Grodenchik. Aye and all except 1258A in which I abstain. Perkins. Aye on all. Rivera. Aye on all. By a vote of nine in the affirmative, zero in the negative, no abstentions, the items have been adopted with the exception of intro 1258A, which was adopted by the vote of eight in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and one abstention. I don't know, I'm blanking, I'm blanking. Um, I, do, I, just, I just want to, um, at the close of the hearing, uh, acknowledge um, the service for Lou Fidler, uh, who was a great council member and a great friend. Um, I will be leaving, and uh, as a lot of members will, to attend uh, his services. Uh, so 